Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to start a new sculpture. This time I am going to use a different clay. This is called J-Mac and I bought about 40 pounds of this clay. It seems to mold extremely well and it's this color which is it's a nice color and what I like about it it's a medium so it's a little bit softer than the Roma Plasticina I was using before and I heard a lot of talk about monster clay and then I looked at the prices and it was a little bit too expensive for me so I decided to buy this clay and I mean it's it feels really good in your hand it doesn't seem like it it's definitely not as hard as the clay that I was using before so I am extremely happy with this sort of clay and I'm just using a dull knife to cut like little chunks off taking this and it holds the shape well it doesn't seem to have any like uh, yeah I think it's going to work out extremely well loop tool and you can see it's a very easy clay to kind of go around and do details hopefully it's going to turn out okay this is the reference that I'm going to be going through and you can see that this is a model that I got from www.female-anatomy-for-artists.com and they have so many great poses and I am actually thinking of getting a subscription so they have a couple they have this one with her kind of looking to the side and this one straight down I like the straight down one because it looks a little bit simpler and I think it's just a very elegant pose the thing with these photos right now is that they're very low res and I can't really see a lot of detail so I'm relying on anatomy knowledge to help me build a sculpture get a base for my sculpture and I have already like my wood base but I am talking about the base that the model is going to be sitting on and one of the things I don't like about a lot of contemporary sculpture is that they never have something that the model sits on instead of using clay I just don't like the mess that this one makes I had to put like a very thin coat of JMAC clay all over this. For some reason this uh, clay is waxy. You can put it in the microwave and it speeds up the whole process. So it's like putty. I actually like this and there's no odor to it. The last clay that I was using smelled like crap when you heated it up. I'm trying to figure out where her knees are going to be. I want it to be taking up this space this entire shape of my platform so I know that her head actually overlaps or goes past the platform so I'm looking at where her knees are going to be and her knees the top is right about here and her feet go all the way here to the back so I'm going to bring her knees just a little bit further back because once I figure out the position of this and she's going to be like straight going this way and her arms are going to be right about here her elbows are going to be positioned right about here on that side so knees are going to be here her butt is actually here very close to the very end of her her body so her feet are going to be here that's one foot that's representing one foot trying to build up the thighs and the clay apparently this JMAC clay when you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds it's at the consistency that I really 
seem to like so this is going to be a little bit easier and now usually what I do with water-based clay I try to model the shape like a rough shape because we really need to just concentrate on the direction that the sculpture is with what the sculpture is doing so her thigh is going to be very close to her bottom leg but it's also at a a direction going up because that's where the femur is so this is going to be the way i'm going to build the the thigh I'm trying to make the division here because once i start to build it up this is going to be coming up this way almost at this level and then it's going to be arcing down to over here where her head is going to be it's going to be going past the front of the platform so even though that the I shouldn't really be building the head up a little bit but she is going to be having her vertebrae a little bit further down really liking this clay this J Mac clay so this clay is extremely good and if you put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds it heats up and is nice and malleable for sculpting I've already started with the torso you can see I'm bending the torso here I believe I'm going to be raising this part up but so far I have a general proportion and I, the uh, shoulders are going to be right about here. We, this clay is extremely good. I was not expecting it to be this nice, but it's a soft clay. They call it the medium, medium hardness clay. And it's very easy to work with. It almost feels that you can do some very quick sketches, loose sketches with it. That's my problem with a lot of the plasticine clay, is that it's very almost robotic the way it handles but this is a very good handling clay So one of the issues I'm having is that it's going to be extremely difficult to sculpt the anterior part of the chest here because the head and the arms are all kind of locking the inside. So what I might do is just remove the upper torso right here and then sculpt it afterwards. But for right now, I just want to get the gesture. The more I work it, this is like, it needs to come down a little bit more. So you have the vertebrae sticking out right over here so everything else is going to be popping except when you get to here where this is the top of the the hips and then you have quite a bit of stuff happening I think my thighs are a little bit too big so let's scrunch and remove a little bit of this it looks definitely scrunched up and we can remove a little bit. We don't want to keep removing because we want it to be about this size. And it's a fairly decent size because if you look at my hand, normally I would do a quick sketch that's a little bit smaller, but I'm having quite a bit of fun with this sort of clay. So <clears throat> I think one of the problems too is like you can draw. It looks better from the 
back than it does from the side. And I think a lot of it is because of the arm. But when we look at the arm, you have, usually I like to take these measurements, like I'm looking at the image over there on my screen, and I'm looking at where the acromion process is because of the scapula is here. The scapula is moved down quite a bit. So there's gonna be a lot of things up here. We're gonna to have to really work the back. But the problem is that you can look for the acromion process, which is this landy, this uh, bony landmark where the humerus goes. So the humerus goes this way. And you have the deltoid that goes this way. And we can indicate it, even though this is not at the, the right thickness. But we don't want to make it too thick. Another thing that's happening is that the seventh cervical vertebrae is right over here. And I can highlight that a little bit just for effect. Because with this model, she doesn't have a lot of fat. So it's very important to show all the bones that stick out of her. I think that's probably the more interesting thing. The pose is great. Like if I can get this right, it'll look nice. Also the hips. One of the issues that I'm having with the hips is that this part on the leg is actually a little bit further down like this. So to correct it, I can just scoop out. And this clay is extremely easy to work with. Let's work a little bit on the triceps here. And we'll take the scraping tool. Now that we put the position in there, we'll start going around the head, the uh, arm. And I'd like to, I like doing the cross hatching. Like that. It just kind of removes a lot of the shapes. All right, let's uh, change positions. This entire shape is a little bit hard to work with because I have the head here, I have the arms, but they're all very difficult to work on the interior part over here. So what I will be working on is like, I'll basically take the knife, cut the arm off, cut the head, and I'll work it individually, put it back. And I did that for the head already. I put this wooden rod in there just so I can remove it and stick it back. This part actually goes down a bit. If you're looking at the model, I think I made her hips a little bit too, too tall. About to finish this for today. It took a while to get to this point and I'm still not happy with the gesture of the sculpture, but I think it's a good first day. As far as the JMAC clay, I really like this clay. This is probably the favorite, my favorite clay I've ever used. One of the really good benefits is it's extremely smooth. And in the hand, it feels really good. And it, you just need to put it in your hand for a little bit and it warms up with the warmth of your hand. I think it's got some wax in it. So that makes it extremely easy to use. And of course, it's much cheaper than monster clay, but you know, there's always like limitations. So far, I don't think there's much limitations. It's um, almost as flexible as water-based clay. I think uh, when you like brush it over like this with the rake, this creates some of these imperfections, but that is fine. It's oil-based clay with some wax. I really like this JMAC clay. And as far as the sculpture, we'll keep working on this because I think we're, we're onto something.